Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to use Adobe XD to create some templates which we are going to then use in paper wireframing process. I'm going to show you how you can create templates, how you can save them, change them later and then finally how you can print them and use them in your paper wireframing process. All right, let's get started. And the first thing which I'm going to show you is how can you create these templates inside of Adobe XD? Because then from Adobe XD, you can save them out and you can print them if you have your own printer or if not, you can just go to your local print shop and then print them by the dozen so that you can use them in your future projects and in your future work. So if I show you right here in Adobe XD, this is what I have created. And by the way, you can access these templates for free right here on my website i will leave the link down in the description below these templates are for photoshop but i open them up easily in adobe xd and you can do too these are for the older phones you can see right here so iphone 7 google pixel samsung galaxy s7 but we have ipad we have surface and we have google chrome so if you want you can download these completely for free and i will also make sure to leave these for free um, down in the description below if you want to use these as well so to get started what i did right here is i simply created my artboards to be a four size because i'm in europe and i'm using a four if you're in the us or whatever else you can use something like a letter size or whichever other paper size you are using so basically i'm using them at 300 dpi and you can lower them down uh, for printing purposes if you don't want them to be such a high quality but i like uh, everything i'm printing i like to really uh, put the effort into it and i really like to have the best output quality so if you do that uh, you are going to have much better lines you're going to have much better visibility of these templates but the other way to look at it is you're going to use much more ink on your printer so it's really up to you to decide what is more important to you is it the quality of the actual template or is this something like a um, gimmick to you and you just want to get down with it a little bit faster so you might want to consider 72 dpi for print so if i take you back right here this is what i have once again we have A4 landscape, A4 portrait, and these Google Chrome templates are directly from this one. And I created iPhones as well. You can see these are just basic outlines. And if I take you through my layers, we have the screen shape. And inside of the body, we have the camera and this piece right here, which is for the, the other cameras, microphones, and so on. And we basically just have the phone outline. I simply used the border to create this outline and that's basically it. And finally, and most interestingly, in my opinion, we have the dot grid. Now, the dot grid is really important if you want your lines to be more precise without using the ruler when you draw these wireframes. If you don't, uh, and I did this in the past for years now, basically, um, if I don't have a printer next to me, if I don't want to lose too much time with setting this up, printing them and so on, you can set them up and use them as a template, which I'm showing you in this video actually. But if you don't have time, if you don't have budget, um, if you are in a hurry, then you can simply use the blank piece of paper and be done with it basically. But right here, what I did is I created one single dot and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. Once again, we have a four uh, size artboard right here, but we have an ellipse and you can see it's 10 with 10. So a height of 10 uh, and the width of 10. And I basically set up these guides, simply click right here to drag them and click right here to drag them. They went a little bit out, but it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I just want these dots. And basically I was using repeat grid with this simple uh, dot and with this simple ellipse to create this dot grid and you can see how it looks like right here. Basically, I'm using the same color. So I sampled the color from this browser to the uh, iPhones and to the dot grid. And once again, basically, you can also use any other device. And I showed you that in the previous uh, example and you can download that example once again, if you want to. You can use Samsung devices, Google devices, Motorola devices, whatever, uh, whichever other device you want. You can also, um, if you're creating for watches, you can use uh, something like a Moto 360. You can use Samsung watches, Apple watch, obviously, and so much more. So whichever template you want, you can create it. If you are doing this work a lot of the 
the times then I really recommend to save out this template to have them ready for printing and then simply you can print them out. Now when it comes to saving what you can do is you can select all of these artboards or you can select each of them individually however you want and you can hit Control or command E and then from here you can choose what you want. I will choose JPEG but you can also use a PDF if you want them to be printed out really nicely but I found that for my purposes JPEG sometimes works a lot better than the P uh, PDF actually because the default Adobe PDF printer is not really good in my case, in your case perhaps it will be. Uh, and especially if you're doing this in the print shop and you want to print these by the dozen, then I really recommend that you save them out as a PDF. Otherwise, JPEG is just fine if you're using this for household purposes or if you're just using that inside of the studio where you know other designers and you don't really care about any of this sort of stuff. So basically, I'm going to choose JPEG, hit export, and when I do, this is how they look like. So we have... Um, we have them named correctly because I did that obviously right here and if you follow the channel you know that I like to name stuff correctly so that I don't run into any sort of trouble later. So you, ha you can see we have browser A for landscape, portrait, iPhone landscape and dot grid and this is how they look like right here basically. So if I go ahead and open up one of these and drag it into view so you can see it. This is how it looks like and from here you can click right here to print them and basically it's going to print out uh, how many uh, however many copies you want and that's what we're going to do next so i'm just going to hit print right here we're going to print them and i'll meet you back right here at the table when i'm going to show you how easy they are to draw on Okay, so this is how they look like once they are printed so you can see this is just a plain piece of white paper, white printing paper that you can get basically anywhere and it's good for any printer. As I said, because I'm in Europe, I'm using A4 size, but if you're located somewhere else, as I said, you can use whichever other size you want. And this is this um, dot grid paper and you can see how that looks like once it's printed. So basically we have these nice dots located around everywhere and basically this is designed to help you be more precise and it is designed to uh, make it look a little bit better than with just blank piece of paper because if I flip it over you can see you can do a lot of the things right here and as I showed you in my previous video I was doing and I just wanted to show you this uh, right here that you can do something like this here. So. Now that we have all of these and now that we printed out all of these, what we can actually do with them. So if I start with just our browser, this is how it looks like. So I'm just using this uh, regular pen and you can use whichever other pen you want. You can also use markers, you can use uh, pencils, you can do whatever you want with these. So basically, now that we have an outline, now that we have basically a cutout point of this uh, landscape one, what we can do is actually start working on it. So if I, for example, do something like this for the title, Let's say that this is going to be our paragraph, this is going to be our button right here and let me write in quickly btn and for example we want a nice big image of a person here, maybe we want something like, a, I don't know, message right here, perhaps avatar right here with the background shadow, you get the idea. So this is designed just to help you improve your speed and productivity and just to give you overall better sense how it's going to look like once it's on the web. Same thing goes for these mobile phones and as I said I chose iPhone here but you can uh, choose any other Android phone you want or any other device you want for that matter and if you know that you're going to have a tab bar right here at the bottom perhaps you can include that in Adobe XD straight away so that you're going to have this nice line right here also if you know that you're going to have a certain type of navigation right here at the bottom you can go straight away and include icons directly into here and then you can use those icons more easily later uh, and reuse them inside of your design. Basically we have these cutout points right here on the iPhone because of this top notch. You can include navigational items right here such as for example signal strength, battery and so on. So you can include all of these 
before you even print this so it's going to give you or your clients or your teammates an even better understanding of how all of this is going to look like once it's actually uh, designed for what you can do right here it's basically the same thing as with the website so you can start with something like this for example or you can actually use the real text you can set yourself outline here and then you can start writing whatever you want right here so you get the idea it's just to help you speed things up a little bit more now when it comes to this dot grid what it's designed for basically is to help you be more precise without using the ruler so if i go ahead and zoom in just a little bit closer so you can see a little bit better what I'm actually doing. These dots are here to help you navigate your way around. So you can simply follow them like this in order to get a straight line. And you can do that the other way around. And this is our box, for example, for our image. And then let's say that we want two dots to be the spacing. And on the third dot, perhaps we want to include the title which is going to be three dots high and let's say paragraph is just going to be one dot spacing and we're going to include it to be one dot high so you get the idea and let's say that we want to include the button so we can go two dots once again for the spacing we can round it up and we can write btn right here so this is how this dot grid is going to help you and this is what it's designed to do basically I really encourage you to use these templates to your advantage. I will leave the links down in the description as I said and it's going to be much easier for you to work with these templates than to work with just blank sheet of paper because as you can see you can be much more precise if you're using these rather than just blank sheet of white paper. So there we have it. I hope you understand how easy it is to create these templates, how easy it is to use them in your workflow. So just remember, if you don't have your own printer, you can go to your local print shop and print these by the dozen so that you can use them in your future projects. Also, don't forget to save your Adobe XD file if you want to include some additional changes later, like we talked about for the iPhone, for example, and adding all of those tab bars and all of those icons and so much more. So just remember, you can use these templates as much as you want for as many projects as you want both personal and commercial i will leave the links down in the description so you can download them and use them i upload videos every single monday so if you like this one consider subscribing i upload videos about design passive income techniques motivation and more so if you don't want to miss them make sure to hit that bell notification icon and i'll see you in the next one take care